we came from the other side of the world to tell our story because it's very important to tell the truth and it's not about religion it's not about politics we just want we are people of music nova it's a music festival the name of the exhibition is uh, uh, 629 because this is the time when the music stop and then we hear the rockets on the sky and then the terrorists come and the music stop but we don't stop we here and we still alive and we have a mission to tell our story. Were you at the festival on October 7th? What was your experience? I've been there. I've been with my wife. Um, I get married one month before 7th October and we celebrate with our friend. And uh, we survived, I don't know how, but thanks God, we survived after seven hours shooting uh, uh, on us, the terrorists shooting all over. And thanks God, I bring my wife home safety. You know, when you're scared, but you believe that you're gonna survive, so you get power from that. So we run and we survive, but a lot of my friends not survive. We lose 405 young, beautiful people. And it's, uh, it's very hard. Come it. It's very hard feeling. So now I feel like I have a, a mission to do. So my mission is to tell the story and uh, to take care of our community. I'm the civilian that was uh, there in the Gaza uh, area the longest period of time during the 7th of October. I was there for uh, 17 hours since, uh, since 6 uh, 29 uh, until uh, approximately 1 uh, a.m. And uh, I was uh, involved in uh, heavy combat over there. I was uh, near the main stage of the festival there, uh, around 6.29. Uh, then the rocket uh, attack uh, started. The skies were full of missiles. And uh, we announced the end of the festival and started to evacuate people before we knew what, about, what is about to come. Hide. I was uh, engaged with, in a combat with the terrorists. I think the worst memory is when uh, we come, we came back with uh, long rifles, assault rifles, and tactical gear. Uh, after three hours, we managed to get some tactical gear, and we raided the festival ground, and we took over. We killed the terrorists who was there, and we took over again. And then I started to look for survivors, for hostages to give first aid to dozens and dozens of people. And the thing that I remember the most that I opened the trash dumpster, the big trash dumpster of the festival, and I saw people lying there in the, near the garbage bags and where they st tried to hide. One of them, it's Naama, uh, that you just interviewed. And uh, you know, the picture of dead people lying, dead young people that only came for a festival lying inside a trash dumpster uh, sh after they've been shot and uh, wounded. I think uh, that was the most uh, remember, remember, rememberable uh, picture that I know. The spirit is to let the world know that even the Nova community that suffered the most brutal and uh, savage attack I think during the history of uh, culture uh, events all over the world, even so, we still believe in the same values that we had before. Values of free love, of equality, of choosing the light and not the darkness. And uh, we are full of belief and the 7th of October just make us believe even more. We are here to stay and as you see, we will dance again.